guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm Alicia and today I decided to do a chit chat get ready with me video. I am going thrift shopping today and I'm filming that so definitely check out that video which will probably go up sometime after this one. Because I'm doing that today I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of makeup and I just thought why not do a chit chat get ready with me. So right now I am obviously free faced, um, free faced, fresh faced. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and like this video if you want to see more chit chat get ready with me's. Can barely say that phrase. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the chit chat of get ready with me. going to start with my Estee Lauder Daywear. The products that I'm using definitely aren't like you have to use these or you won't get the same results. Definitely for the summer I start out with a moisturizer that has sunscreen, like, a, like quite a bit of sunscreen in it. This one has, okay it's SPF 15 so it's not crazy but it's definitely more than like moisturizers that sometimes contain you know like I don't know SPF 10 is that a thing? I don't know. Literally though anytime that I've done a full face lately and then I go outside like it melts off immediately. I've been trying to do more like photo shoots for Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. Because I'm really trying to take like some really cool photos for Insta, you know, and really get like some cute outfits together. And it's just been so hard to take photos outside because it is so hot. Like my makeup literally just will melt off. It's disgusting. I really wanted to try to do kind of like just a really minimal look today so that I could look, you know, awake and look my best while also shopping. So that's what I'm doing. So it's Tatcha the Silk Canvas and it actually really helps my redness. At least, you know how products sometimes say like we do this and so when you put it on you just start to like, you kind of see what you want to see. Like you're like oh my gosh it is working. But sometimes I feel like well do I really know that or am I just thinking that because I already know what it's supposed to do. So you guys tell me, but I think it actually helps with redness. Also, last time I was out, bought this IT CC Butter, or your skin, but better. I don't know why I read butter, but I got this at the store recently and I wanted to try it. It's in light, obviously the color light, and it's got super awesome SPF 50, so that's really good. And Basically, I haven't tried this yet and I wanted to try it because I want to go a little bit less than my usual like full face But if I was doing full face, I would use the Too Faced Peach Perfect, but Like I said, I'm just I'm not feeling like I want to do a full face today So that is really good coverage. I guess we'll Hopefully see how it stays on during the day um, if you guys saw my wedding dress try on video, which if you haven't seen it, you should totally watch that after this, but, um, and let me know which dress is your favorite. But, oh my gosh, this looks way too dark, even though it's light. Maybe it'll like, what's that, oxidize or something? I guess we'll see. For the wedding video, I wore the Peach Perfect foundation, and I don't think there was any like close-ups of my skin towards the end of the video, but like right here like in the mustache area, I guess, if I if I had one. I'm clear as a bug though, clear as a bug. What does that even mean? My makeup had kind of washed off and I'm pretty sure it was because of like the mixture of sweat and like taking on and off clothes and it looked really bad because the Too Faced foundation is really white because usually I am really white but because I've been out in the sun lately, I've gotten a little bit like redder in the face slash, I guess you could call it tan but mostly it's just red. And so it, it like doesn't match super well. And so when it rubs off, like it matches my neck perfectly because my neck is so white, but when it washes off, like you can definitely tell and it's really obvious. And so there was just like this spot right there and it was like red and it looked really gross. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I didn't want to wear that foundation today because I feel like it just doesn't work well in heat. Or maybe it was just that like I hit it at some point or something. I know I ate lunch in it too, so maybe that was it. Also you guys, I'm planning to decorate for Halloween this week, but I'm not telling Cameron, my fiance, if you don't know, um, 
because I want to like surprise him. I'm not sure if he'll like this surprise because when I mentioned the idea of like decorating early, he seemed pretty against it. Like he was like, oh my God, can you just wait? And I was like, oh my God, yeah, of course. Um, I'm planning <laughs> to decorate tomorrow and film it and just to do like a little decorate with me because I think those are so much fun. And Halloween is my favorite season. Season. Well, I like to think of it as a season. So <laughs> even though it's like a little early to decorate for Halloween, I think it's the perfect time. Oh yeah, and I always have to do this. Um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot what it was called. Not really baking, but just like putting un uh, powder under my eyes because I am one of those people who has super creasy eyes. Like if I don't do this, my eyes my under eyes crease so badly. I use Too Faced setting powder, but like I said, all of this stuff, like use your own products and you'll have the same results. Like I really don't think it's that big of a deal to use like the same products as someone else. Um, Cause for me, I feel like most products are, are just the same. There's no product that's like the secret, like holy grail product. At least I haven't found. If you guys know of anything, let me know. Maybe I'll try it out and see if I can change my mind on that. But um, I always put a lot of powder on for the summer because, you know, your girl gets hot. Especially if I'm going to be trying stuff on. So I like to do a lot of powder and try to set it. I have been using my Kris Jenner by Kylie palette. And it says, I have one word for tonight, vodka. It's so cute. I love this palette. I just think the packaging is cute. And I also think that just like, it's just a cute palette. Like, look at this. It's like the lighter shade up here. The top one. I usually start with that one because it's just a nice light shade. Today I'm going to do Paybacks a B. Paybacks a B. So it's like a, a brownish red, but it's kind of lighter. And I'm going to do that in the crease. And then I'm using It's an Emergency for my corners because it's not like a super dark color, but it's kind of like medium. So it's good for like daytime. I know I like to watch it, watch chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I like to watch them like in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee. I just think they're, I don't know. It's like you're talking to a friend, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I really, I really like them. After I do that to my eyebrows, which I just put on the gimme brow, forgot to tell you by benefit. After I do that, usually I go ahead and wipe off the under my eye part. Let's do my highlight first. So I use Kylie French Vanilla. Let me know if you guys have tried Kylie Cosmetics and if you like her stuff. Because personally from the stuff I've tried, which hasn't been too much because like I said, not an endless supply of money over here. And I'm obviously not on the PR list. Um, so I just have, you know, what I personally buy and so far of her stuff, I've really liked it. I've actually bought like way more than I probably should of her lip kits. Bronzer, that's what I was going to do. Okay, so I use my Hoola by Benefit, which like literally everyone uses, but I really love it. I don't know why, but I feel like it just looks good with so many skin tones. Just because like um, people that aren't like as pale as me use this and it always looks really good on them too. So. Apparently it's doing something right. Usually I finish out my eyebrows and I use my Makeup Forever Artist color pencil in the color total. I want to say taupe. It's T-A-U-P-E. Total taup? Taup? I don't know how to say it, but that's what I use um, just to kind of fill in my eyebrow because I like a more filled in look. All right, so I would call my eyebrows done and by no means am I a beauty guru. So if this looks horrible, I'm really sorry. I use the Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. So I've been using the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. My sister got me this like mirror for Christmas, I think it was. Yeah, it was Christmas. No, it was my birthday. It was my birthday. She got me this for my birthday and I love it because it makes me feel like Jeffree Star. So, <laughs> girl, you wish. Yeah, I know. I wish I was Jeffree Star. No, I wish I was best friends with Jeffree Star. I think he is, he seems like such a cool person. I think the only thing I have left to do is my mascara. What's everyone's like favorite part of Halloween? Like what? Or I guess, what's your favorite part of fall? Like, what do you, like, wait, like, what makes you the most excited about, like, the prospects of fall coming? Literally, the thing I am most excited about today is the prospect of decorating for Halloween tomorrow. Like, I am so stoked, you guys. 
and Cameron, like I said, my fiance, I feel like he's gonna be like mad. Like, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be mad about it or what, but I'm just gonna be like, well, I had to do it for YouTube. <laughs> Even though like, I would have done it regardless, honestly. I usually go back in with my palette and I use the outer corner color. So for today it was, it's an emergency. And I'll just put that under my eye, where where do you call that? Well, you can see where I'm putting it, just like right there. Almost forgot lips. So for lips, what shall we do? Oh, you guys, I recommend this MAC Prep and Prime. So it's MAC Prep and Prime for your lips. What's that called? Moisturizer for your lips. Chapstick. Um, <laughs> It could literally be the equivalent of chapstick. I don't really know. But I do find that it helps my lip stuff go on really smooth. Okay, um, what should I, usually I go with just a nude for my lips on like a regular basis because honestly this is why I do this. So I'll go with a nude color because if I use a color like, um, like this for example, I would use this for Halloween for sure. Ooh, I'll do a Halloween makeup tutorial, like, or Halloween inspired makeup tutorial, just for fun. But anyway, not doing that right now, so stop talking about it. But stuff like that that's like a really dark color, I find it really hard to get perfect on your lips. And so it's hard to do that knowing that you have to go out because I always feel like it just looks bad. Like, I can never get it to be perfect, but I want to practice that and get it perfect, so I am going to keep trying. But anyway... Um, isn't it crazy though how the difference of like once you have your hair down like the makeup looks even better I feel like because sometimes when it's like back you know and you're still like putting it on you're just like eh. and then once you have it down you're like oh girl oh girl sorry this is literally standing on top of this aerial Barbie so because I am a professional <laughs> we'll use um, bear by Kylie Cosmetics so I'm gonna go ahead and put bare on. Now that my lips are done, we can go ahead and throw on our Prep and Prime MAC Fix spray and let that go all over. And then yeah, my hair I literally just curl with a straightening iron. Like I just take different sections and curl it. So that's, I don't really do anything too crazy. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Please let me know if you did in the comments below because I really want to know just for future videos like do you guys like this kind of unedited, mostly unedited type of stuff or do you like more of the like get straight to it, this is a how to, you know, tutorial type of thing. Just let me know what you guys enjoy because I enjoy filming either one to be honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more awesome content and don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!